picnicking, crochet, bake a fruit pie from scratch, start a new fitness routine, go to a gun range, <laughs> eat breakfast for dinner, drink from a coconut. Wait, that sounds amazing. <gasps> Escape a corn maze. You know, just like the movies. <laughs> y'all in today's video i'm going to be providing you all with over 150 bucket list ideas summer edition baby i'm talking fun productive budget friendly and she throws boo boo and of course the perfect aesthetic summer straight out of your pinterest board ah. so are you ready let's dive in So real quick, I put together a total of seven different categories. First is indoor activities, second is outdoor, self-development, events and attractions, food and beverage activities, crafting, and of course, my honorable mentions. Let's get going. So indoor activities is personally my favorite. You don't have to go out to have a good time. It's perfect for bonding with your friends and family and just bringing everyone together. So first on the list is building an indoor fort. It is such a vibe. I would definitely do it again. I highly recommend. Indoor camping and yes, it is a thing. Movie night, mini contests such as a cooking contests, game night, crafting night, karaoke night, throw a slumber party. Now the last one for this list is a productive one and that is deep cleaning the entire house. Have your friends and family come over and just help you clean and get rid of all your junk. Heck, set up a garage sale. Next are outdoor activities, perfect for the folks who are obsessed with the outdoors, just like this tree hugging hippie right here. You can go picnicking, feed the ducks. Feeding ducks is so relaxing, by the way. <gasps> Escape a corn maze, you know, just like the movies. Sounds so exciting. Go on a road trip, go to the beach, build a sand castle, go surfing, which is something I need to get back into. Ride a hot air balloon. By the way, sis went not too long ago and caught the dopest pics and footage. Check it out. Spend some time on a hammock, catch fireflies, go canoeing, go kayaking, go camping, which is something I've never done before. What is wrong with me? Watch the sunset, watch the sunrise, watch fireworks, go stargazing, take a boat ride, which is something I will definitely be doing this summer on Ethan's dad's boat. You can go scavenger hunting, stand under a waterfall, be a tourist in your own city, play sports such as golf, tennis, basketball, football, any sport you desire, skateboarding, roller skating, learn to shoot a bow and arrow, go gardening, plant a flower, or some fruits and vegetables, skip rocks in a lake, work on a farm, fly a kite, play frisbee, hike a new trail, ride a bike, go fishing. By the way, peep my phone charm. You like it? It says beach fever, super beachy. It's got dolphins and all that jazz. It's giving me coconut girl vibes. Anyways, and last but not least on this list is outdoor water games, such as a water balloon fight, slip and slide, water gun fight, and of course, playing in the sprinklers. You can never get too old for that. The next list is a productive one, perfect for the folks who love to get productive. These mainly have to do with building skill and having the perfect alone time. There is nothing wrong with being alone and investing time in learning about yourself. So first on this list is studying a new hobby and learning a new skill. For instance, juggling. That sounds kind of fun. I think I'm gonna do that this summer. Learning a magic trick, learning a new language, playing an instrument, to go 24 hours without electronics, get a tattoo, something I might get. We'll see. Drastically change your hair, get a new haircut, a new color, try a new style, face a fear, shoot your shot, whether it's asking out a crush, becoming friends with a stranger, or going for your dream job. Start a new fitness routine, start a new savings account, start a piggy bank, try yoga, do a spa day or a self-care day. And lastly, journaling. Moving on to the next list, and that is events and attractions. Attend a concert, go indoor ice skating, indoor skydiving, go bowling, visit a historical site, go on a shopping spree, duh. Go to a drive-in movie with your boo thing. Sleep in a cabin, something I absolutely love to do, especially during the winter. There's just something so comforting about staying in a cabin. Go to an amusement park, a water park, a trampoline park, check out a farmer's market, run a marathon, which is something I would never participate in. 
because I hate running. I've done enough of that in school. Go to a game. A basketball game, a football game, a baseball game, a volleyball game. Go to a gun range. Go to a festival, for instance. A lobster festival, a strawberry festival, a music festival, a margarita festival. I just went recently. Cheers! <laughs> Bye! It was a blast. Go to the zoo, go to a carnival, a museum, go to a flea market. I highly recommend you going to a flea market. There are just so many amazing things that you can get at an affordable price. And it's also highly addictive, so be aware of that. And last on this list, go to a circus. Circuses are such a vibe. This next list is also one of my favorites, and that is food and beverage activities. Bake a fruit pie from scratch. Compete in a food eating competition. Make fresh lemonade. Make popsicles. Make snow cones. Drink from a coconut. Wait, that sounds amazing. Make ice cream. Eat breakfast for dinner. That never gets old. Bake and decorate homemade desserts, such as cakes, cupcakes, cookies. Try new food that you never ate before. Make root beer float. Create a cocktail. Go wine tasting. Last and the most iconic on this list is making s'mores. Perfect for camping. All right, we are almost done. Let's finish. Next is for my brothers and sisters who love to get creative. Make a vision board, a scrapbook, make tie-dye shirts, try DIYs such as jewelry, clothing, accessories, house decor, handwrite letters. You know, you can send a letter to someone, send a message in a bottle, a message on a balloon, write a message to your future self, crochet. I'll definitely do that one. Sounds so much fun. Make an origami, draw, paint, make a time capsule and bury it. Build something for your pets, such as a dog house, a cat tower, a pet bed. Moving on to the final list, and that is, drum roll please. My honorable mentions. First and the most important out of everything is making a summer playlist. That is a must. Music seriously gets me into the mood. It's a party. Play truth or dare. Pull a fun all-nighter. Check out my all-nighter video playlist, by the way. Complete a 1,000 piece puzzle. I can't talk. What time is it? Is it 3 a.m.? No, it's just 8 p.m. Host a get together, you know, throw a surprise party, hosting a bonfire, have a family reunion. And lastly, create your own bucket list. Bye. All right, folks, it's time to wrap it up. That was over 150 summer bucket list ideas. I hope you guys got inspired by my list and have the best summer ever. That is it for this video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, comment, like it, share it. You already know the drill. And yeah, I hope you guys have a good day. If you have any video ideas, go ahead and comment that down below. Follow me on my other socials and I will catch you on my next one. See ya, Ruby, signing off.